Good evening. Welcome to Hot Mess Issue Today, the hit. Please like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, I have on the religion mask, and the topic again is this Warren Jeffs, religious cult leader. I mean, this is a crazy story. So, he is in jail, but ultimately, just like a lot of mob bosses and gang leaders, he's still running the program, running his his uh, cult society from behind bars, which I don't understand. Why would they allow him access to all of those people from behind bars when they know what he's doing. So he's had 80, 80 wives. He's, you know, that's pretty much almost every female in the cult, but 80 wives. And I think they've lost count on how many kids he's fathered. But is uh quite a few of the uh, kids and you know adults have died because one of their um, doctrines is they don't allow um, outside doctors. Also, some of the women have been um, excommunicated or kicked out of the cult. Because they went to a doctor, like a um, a male OBGYN, and that's also against their religion that any other males outside of the cult see the uh, private parts of women in the cult. So these women, some of them got kicked out. And it would be just them. They not, they're not allowed to take their children with them. So they, the mother get kicked out. But the children um, are kept. Because ultimately, one of the men, probably Jeff's in a lot of the cases, was the father. So he is the uh, judge and jury. So he maintains custody. In a few cases, I think the children, you know, just like most cult members, they're brainwashed. So the children, in a few cases, were allowed to decide for themselves. And because they were brainwashed, they decided against going with their mother. You know, they were told that, you know, their lives will be, you know, ruined and and everything as negative as they could would happen to them if they were to leave the cult and go with their mother. And so those children that were given the opportunity to decide, decided to stay. So now one of the cases that's going on is there are a bunch of uh, missing children and they can't get authorities to, you know, actively really investigate the case of why these kids are missing. So, you know, it's crazy. And from behind bars, Jeff has made a um, threat that he may or he is going to give the order to the cult to commit suicide, you know. So we've seen that in the past where cult leaders had um, mass suicide and the um, cult members followed and carried it out. You know, even um, children were killed and... and um, which, of course, they didn't know. Just like in um, South Africa where they, they drank the Kool-Aid. But Jeff has threatened that he will be 
given that order at some point. And so I don't know how many, why authorities will still allow him to communicate with anybody when he has threatened to do that. You know, to me, that's like helping him. But he, you know, this is a uh, strange case, not unfamiliar to our history, and I guess, you know, we're going to repeat it instead of taking some um, steps to keep it from happening. But, um, yeah, so the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ still headed by uh, Mr. Jeffs, you know, who's about 68, 69 years old, you know, and like I say, his list of children is just off the charts. So, um, if he doesn't give the order for them to uh, commit suicide, this church, this uh, cult has so many um, members, I don't see it dying or going away. You know, hopefully they'll be able to find these kids that's missing and hopefully some of the other some of the other uh, mothers that's been kicked out will be able to get their children back but unless authorities FBI, CIA or somebody gets involved it's not likely that that's going to happen anytime soon and we all know the longer the kids stay within the cult, the more the brainwashing gets entrenched into their thinking. But, you know, I don't know how, you know, our society allows, you know, this kind of activity to thrive. You know, it, and especially... We got all of these laws about, you know, kids and abuse and and all of that. And it should be enough, religion or not, that if kids are um, denied medical treatment that's proven that would help them, that should be a crime. Now, adults, adults don't want to get medical treatment. That's on them. But kids typically, you know, they don't have a say. So if they don't have to say to get medical treatment, you know, they definitely don't have to say not to. So somebody with um, intelligent thinking should be making a smart decision on their behalf. And not getting medical treatment is not smart. At least treat, at least analysis of what's going on. Now, you know, if you, you know, you take a, a kid and just get them diagnosed and it's chicken pox. Okay, you don't have to accept, you know, the, the normal treatment for chicken pox or the normal treatment for mumps. So you don't believe in, in um, getting, uh, you know, shots and, and some of those things. But, you know... But other things that's life-threatening, you know, it's obvious. If it's an appendix, it's an appendix. There's it, it, no praying or, you know, roots or, you know, anything you're going to be able to do, drink more water, that's going to help appendix. You know, if they have to be removed, they have to be removed. And so those things, I think, and, and uh, kids turn up dying, somebody need to pay the penalty. But the other part of it is, if there's no record of the kids being born, how do you know which kids died? And and the crazy mothers, they so brainwashed, they're not even, you know, saying, hey, my kid died, you know, and, and uh, 
They just accept it and move on. Have another kid, 18 kids. But Jeff's has to be stopped. That's just my opinion. This has been Hot Mess Issue today, the hit. Please like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.